Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. I know I just recently posted my Sephora VIB recommendations video, but there were so many comments in that video from you guys telling me to post a Sephora haul, like if I was gonna buy anything. You guys really wanted to see what I was getting in the sale. So that is what I'm doing for you guys today. Sorry it is a little repetitive. I know it's like a lot of Sephora stuff back to back, but I know there's a ton of you that really, really wanted to see it, so this video is for you guys. By the way, excuse the lighting in this video. For some reason, it's like the sunniest day in Miami the Sun is blazing through my windows right now and I feel like the lighting is off but just you know ignore that I told you guys in my recommendations video whenever Sephora goes on sale I'm a VIB Rouge member by the way I, I don't know if that's something I'm proud of but I was able to save 20% off and every time Sephora does this I really get carried away and I just go crazy because Sephora never does this they never have any sales so for some reason I, I just think sale and I just buy everything. But I always make sure that I'm buying stuff that I wouldn't normally buy if it wasn't on sale. Like for example, more luxury brands, things with a higher price tag. I tend to save those for the sale specifically. So a bunch of these products I've really had my eye on and I was waiting for the sale. So let's just go through everything. Okay, I'm just gonna get all my Pat McGrath goodies out of the way because I had been eyeing these products for a long time. Ever since I discovered the Pat McGrath Crema Gel Ultra Lip Pencils, I cannot get enough. I have the shade Contour and Supernatural. You guys know contour is my favorite. So I picked up four more lip liners. In my favorites video, I told you guys that I bought four more Pat McGrath liners. And so many of you guys thought I bought four more contours, like the shade contour, but I bought four different ones. I am so excited to try these out. I'm wearing one of these on my lips today. It's this one in the shade Done Undone. It's like their pinky nude and I love it. I have it underneath lip gloss today. These lip liners are just so great. I know I've been going on and on and on about them, but I cannot get enough of them. They are worth every single penny. So I got Done Undone. This one is their pinky nude, like I said, but it has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not like glitter or anything. It's just a, like a satin finish. It's not completely matte. Then I got this one in Bare Rose, which is a more rosy nude. Night Fever, which is like a deep berry color. And then I got Buff, which is another nude. She mainly has nudes in her collection. I didn't really see a bunch of like crazy colors or anything like that, but you can never have uh, too many nude lip liners. I say, in my opinion. Especially with a formula this freaking good. And then I got three more of her Lust lip glosses. I already have three, but these three were calling my name and you know, that's expensive, so I have to take advantage of this sale. This one is my favorite. I cannot wait to wear this one. I haven't worn it yet. This one is called Pale Fire Nectar. It's like this delicious, glittery, pinky coral with like little shimmery golden specks in there. I don't know. It just looks like a jelly, like a delicious... I don't know. I saw this on the Pat McGrath Instagram and I was like, oh, I need that one. I need that one. I also got this one, which is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's called Aliangelic. I thought it was angelic, but no, it's Aliangelic. And this is so intense. In the tube, it's like a, how do I explain this? It's like a white base or like a clear base actually. And then it has like all these iridescent, pinky, bluey shimmers in it. So, so stunning. And I'm like I said, I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And as I was applying it for the first time, I was like, whoa, this is so intense. Like the pink really shows through this lip gloss. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Do you see? I don't know if you can tell on camera. The pink reflect in this is so strong, which is so amazing because a lot of the times you have to really pack on lip glosses like this to really get that iridescence. But this is so intense and so pretty. The formula of this lip gloss is so, so good. I love them. They're so juicy, but not too sticky. They have a little bit of stick to them, but nothing that's uncomfortable. And then I got this hot, delicious coral color in Twilo. Twilo? Twilo? I don't know. But yes, I had to pick up some more Pat McGrath lip glosses. I can't stop. I can't. All right, another brand that I like to take advantage of during the sale is Hourglass. Hourglass is so pricey, but let me tell you, it's like one of the best brands I've discovered. So I picked up the Hyaluronic Skin Tint. It's the Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. It's like their tinted moisturizer, kind of. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> I love Hourglass and I was a little bit disappointed. Today is the first time I use it and I used it with a different primer, like a primer I've never used before. So that could be a factor. I definitely have to play around with it and try it out a little bit more. I just feel like it's kind of sitting on my skin. I see it on my skin. And for a skin tint, I don't know, I didn't picture that. You really have to work with it and you have to really blend it in to get a seamless application because if not, I feel like you kind of see it sitting on top of the skin. And for it being like a hydrating skin tint, it looks a little bit dry. 
like a little bit dry on the skin. I don't know, because my skin does look really smooth right now, but I think that's the primer that I'm gonna show you in a second. I don't know, I just don't know how I feel about this. I kind of feel like I have so many other products in my collection that do more and that cost less. Like my Thrive Cosmetics CC Cream has more SPF, has more coverage, and it just looks nicer on the skin and it's cheaper. I don't think this is worth the money is what I'm saying. Even with the sale, I was kind of bummed out by this. Okay, so this is the primer I'm wearing underneath. I don't have the box because I threw it away like a moron, but uh, this is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas. I have heard so many people talk about this thing and say it's like the most amazing thing ever, but I never wanted to purchase it myself because this is so expensive. It's like 50 bucks for a face primer and I do get PR sent to me from Tatcha, but I don't always get it. Like I don't get everything. So when I heard so many people rave about this, I was like, you know what? I, I have to try it out for myself. It has to be amazing. So I picked it up. I just used it for the first time today. Probably wasn't smart to use a new primer and a new foundation for the first time together, but I really wanted to test it out and give you my opinion. When I applied it to my skin, it kind of feels like a moisturizer, but like a pore filling moisturizer. It kind of feels like a really cool hybrid. It does feel like it gives your skin like a silk canvas. It's very, very strange, but it kind of creates like a filter on your skin. And I do think that the skin tint applied really smooth on the skin because of this. I honestly don't think the primer was the problem. I really think it was the skin tint on its own because it just looked so weird, but I'm going to play around with this a little bit more, try it underneath some of my favorite foundations, see how I like it because I don't know anybody who doesn't like this. I just don't love that I have to dig my finger in this. That is so weird to me. I mean, I used the back of my nail, but still. That's like unsettling for me. I don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna switch it up now. Let's talk about some skincare products I bought. This was a recommendation from one of you guys on Twitter. I told you guys that I'm gonna start this series with my mom on my channel. I think I wanna call it Monday masks with mommy or something. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but I wanna try out face masks with my mom. I wanna do like an affordable one, then a pricey one, then an affordable one, then a pricey one, and just give you our thoughts on the face mask. And so many of you guys recommended this mask to try out, but my mom, my mom doesn't do pore extracting masks. She's like freaked out. She thinks it's gonna dry out her skin and she doesn't wanna use anything that's that, I don't know, she's weird. But I saw so many people recommend this that I wanted to try it out for myself. So I'll be testing this out on my own. This is the Ulla Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. It deeply purifies pores and reduces oil with clay and snow lotus extract. There's not much oil in this face, but sometimes, you know, every once in a while, I do want a mask that's really gonna declog my pores because I use a lot of products on a daily basis. I'm always testing out new makeup and sometimes, my skin gets real clogged and real gross. And the cool thing about this mask, I'm not even gonna lie, is this color. Like, look at this color. That is a beautiful nail polish, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to put this all over my face. Leave me a comment down below if you've used it. Do you like it? Is it drying? I hope not, like not too drying. Let me know. I got another face mask. This is the Ren Evercom Overnight Recovery Balm. I got this to use as like a nighttime moisturizer like every once in a while whenever my skin is really irritated because the Ren Evercom line is actually really good. Uh, they have another face mask that I've used in the past that was really gentle on my skin and whenever I was like really irritated or something broke me out, I would wear it and it really soothed my skin. So I'm assuming this is kind of similar. It's an overnight recovery balm. Soothes and nourishes for sensitive skin. I have it sensitive skin. It has olive oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, sunflower oil, a bunch of nourishing oils to moisturize the skin and hydrate. And then it also has beta glucan to soothe and alleviate visible signs of sensitivity. So I am very, very, very excited to try this because I really do like Ren products. And this looks like something that would really help me. I'm not sure. We shall see. I will update you guys on that. This though, this I used it for the first time last night and I love it. I love it already. This is from the brand Pharmacy. It's their Honeymoon Glow A a resurfacing night serum. Now it is very, very similar to my lovely, beloved Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose uh, Glycolic Night Syrup. I believe that's the name of it. This does very similar things for me. I use the Drunk Elephant one because I don't really use exfoliators, like actual physical exfoliators all that much on my skin. I leave it up to products like this, like AHAs and all of that. And the Drunk Elephant one is truly amazing. Every time I put it on my skin and I wake up the next day, my skin just looks so smooth less texture, just overall way better, um, but it's like $95. <laughs> That's expensive. This is like half of the price. Maybe not half, I think I paid like $50 for this. And it's like half of the price. <laughs> I don't do well with mathematics. So when I was reading about this product and I realized that they kind of did similar things, I really wanted to try it out 
and I love it. I woke up this morning, my skin looked so smooth, like less textured, like all the things that my Drunk Elephant one does for me, I feel like this did it overnight as well. If I don't have to shell out the $95 every time, that would be fabulous. So I'm gonna keep using this, because I've been using that Drunk Elephant one for over a year and it never broke me out, it never made me sensitive, so hopefully this doesn't do that either. So I'm gonna keep using this and I'll let you know. Okay, so this is kind of also skincare. Yeah, kind of, very much, yes. What? This is the Belief Aqua Balm Mist. Now, if you know about the Belief Aqua Balm, like the face moisturizer, people swear by it. I didn't really like it. I didn't think it was as moisturizing or as hydrating as I wanted it to be, so I got rid of it. But this is their Aqua Balm Mist. It's their lightweight mist for glowing, hydrated skin. Every time I see a new face mist on Sephora, I buy it. I'm just always on the hunt for the next best setting spray or like dewy spray. It's a thing. So this is cool because it does come like this, but it also has a refill. So you get two of them. And it says it's an instant burst of cooling hydration, and it also is a humectant. So it's very, very hydrating, and it's supposed to be cooling on the skin and all that jazz. The mist on this is amazing. Excellent mist. Look at that. So fine, I love this mist. And right away when you apply it to your skin, you do feel that cooling sensation. It kind of feels cold on the face and just so soothing and hydrating. Obviously, I just purchased it. I'm, I'm just starting to use it now. But this looks like something I would really like like throughout the day to really refresh the skin. I tried it underneath my foundation and on top of my foundation today, and I really like it. I have to see if it's worth the money because I have my Catrice Dewy Spray that I love. I have my Morphe Setting Spray that I love because they plump me up and they make me nice and dewy and, you know, hydrated. So I got to see if this is worth it, but so far, so good. Bare Minerals released this Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Loose Powder Foundation. I got mine in the shade Golden Beige. I used it yesterday for the first time as like a alone powder foundation and I really liked it. It's very, very similar to their original powder foundation. If you like that, you might really like this. I don't know what makes it like blemish clearing. Let me see on the Sephora website. Okay, yeah, I figured. So this has salicylic acid in it. So it's really good for those of you with acne prone skin. Personally, my skin works really well with salicylic acid. I've had like little salicylic acid treatments in the past and I've put them on blemishes and overnight it really does clear them. So I'm very excited to keep using this. When I used it yesterday, I did have to apply like a dewy setting spray and a really hydrating moisturizer underneath because this does kind of have a matte finish, but it doesn't look drying or cakey or anything like that. So if you have dry skin, I still think you can use this, especially if you have dry skin that's always breaking out, you might really want to check this out. So far, so good. Okay, Sephora, tell me why I didn't buy this perfume. But yet you sent it to me. My order clearly says Atelier, I don't know how to say this brand, Atelier Cologne Vanille Intense. Vanille Intense. What is Vetiver Fatal? That's not what I ordered. I hate when this happens to me. I saw Samantha Ravendahl's um, Sephora VIB recommendations video and she was talking about the Atelier Cologne in Vanille Intense, like the vanilla one. But the way that she was describing it, I immediately like purchased it off of the Sephora website. Even though I haven't smelled it, I just know I'm gonna like it. I love vanilla anyway, but anyway. They sent me the wrong one and it smells great. <laughs> this smells kind of like leather. It smells like a new car. Like if you just buy a car, that brand new car smell, like with the leather. Yeah, brand new car, that's exactly what this smells like. And while I love that, I don't know if I would love to wear that. Ugh, I don't wanna spray it because I do wanna return it. But what if this was like a blessing in disguise? I don't know, I take everything as a sign. What if this was a sign? Let me just, okay, let's see. I'm just gonna do one little spray. I know you're not supposed to rub your wrists together, I know. Now this smells like a Christmas tree. This smells like a pine tree, literally a pine tree. You know. I'm gonna let it sit on my skin for the rest of the day and then I'm gonna make my decision, but it's looking like I'm gonna return it and get the vanilla one. Okay, I'm so sorry, we're almost done. Not really, but I had to replenish the best eyebrow gel to ever exist. It kind of bums me out that I have to get it with the eyebrow pencil because they are connected. But this is the Nude Sticks Eyebrow Stylist Pencil and Waterproof Styling Gel. Yes, this waterproof styling gel is very much waterproof. It's the best eyebrow gel to ever exist. I love that it's connected for those of you who love this eyebrow stick because you have the gel and the stick, so that's great. But if Nude Sticks can just come out with this gel on its own, I'd buy 70 of them and I'd be the happiest girl in the world. 
Okay, I got two products from Natasha Denona. Same thing with Natasha, Natasha Denona. I do get some PR, but sometimes um, I get it a little bit late or sometimes I don't get it. So I do like to purchase things on my own and I was eyeing these two products specifically. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Lila Palette. She just recently came out with another palette. It's not a mini, but it has like cool tone colors and like bronzy colors and I really wanna buy that. I'm so upset at myself that I didn't buy it during the sale, but I didn't notice, like I didn't see it. This is the mini Lila palette, and I feel like I've been on the fence with certain uh, Natasha Denona eyeshadows these days. The Tropic palette had like horrible reviews, people didn't really like it, and then the mini Sunset palette wasn't that good. That one I did buy, and I was like, this is nothing like the big Sunset palette. Why does this suck? So I was kind of bummed there, but I really wanted to test out the mini Lila, because I do love the big Lila, and this is so so good. This is like her original formula. At least that's what it feels like. I don't know if she changed the formula. I don't know. I've been on the fence with her recent things, but this is really, really great. It is tiny though. I mean, it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Like when I got in the mail, I was like, this is the cutest little thing in the world. Um, it's 25 bucks, so it is expensive for such a tiny little thing. But these are colors I wouldn't normally use like on a daily basis anyway. Well, except these two. So I don't mind that it's so small and I like the price because it's a nice way to try out Natasha Denona if you've never tried out her eyeshadows before. So I do think this little guy is worth it and I really really like it. All I have on my eyes today is this. I have all the mattes in my crease, this blue on my entire lid and then the gold in the inner corners and on my brow bone a little bit and I feel like I got a complete look with just this little guy. Obviously you can't do like a million different looks but this gold does help you change it up a bit and I just really really enjoyed the formula. I think it's nice and sturdy and it's great to travel with. I really, I really, 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 really like it. And then the other Natasha Denona product I got was the Super Glow Extreme Shine Crystal Highlighting Powder. This is extreme. Like, she's not kidding. I got mine in the shade Light Medium. It's the highlight I'm wearing on my skin right now. It is really, really, really beautiful. If you're familiar with her old highlighters, it kind of had the same packaging. This is more intense than those. These have a very, very high shine metallic finish to them. I've only tested one, but I'm assuming they're all like this. These are super, super intense, and I typically don't love highlighters that are this metallic because they tend to emphasize texture and just look, it just looks like a highlight on your skin, especially in person when someone is wearing an ultra metallic highlight, like you can see it. Like it doesn't look like your face is naturally highlighted, it looks like you're highlighted. And this does that for you, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I really Really like that look sometimes I really want that look but I don't want it all the time so for that reason I don't know if it's worth it for me personally you know what I would probably use this for let's say I highlight my skin with like my regular highlight like a more natural looking highlight and then I just wanted the tops of the cheekbone like the very top of my cheekbone to be really elevated and look extra shiny and metallic then I'll take a little bit of this and just pop it right at the top of the cheekbone and I feel like that would look really gorgeous and really beautiful and I think that's how I'm gonna be using it from now on because because completely on its own, although it's like so gorgeous, like so reflective, it's a little bit too much for me. Like I said, I know there's like a thousand people out there who love these highlights. And for good reason, they're great. It's good. It's just like too much. You know what I mean? Not too much in a bad way. Never mind. Just swatch it at the store. Let me know how you feel about it. Another Hourglass product that I'm like, why? Why did I buy you? The skin tint was more like, ah, eh, you didn't work for me, but I really wanted you to work for me. This is like, why did I buy you? This is the Hourglass number no. nine domed shadow brush. It's like a fat giant pencil brush. And this is one of those products, like I was saying earlier, that I bought based off of Impulse just because it was on sale and because it was Hourglass. I was like, sure, that's on sale, I want it. It is a really, really soft brush, don't get me wrong, but I have so, <laughs> I have so many brushes that are similar. Well, actually, this shape is very unique. That's another reason why I bought it. It's a very fat pencil brush, like super huge. I used it today to smoke out the lower lash line. And if you want a really intense, smoky lower lash line, this brush will give it to you because it applied it really low. Like it took it down, which I'm okay with because I love a smoky lower lash line. But if you have smaller eyes, this might be way too big for you. I don't know. I'm going to continue to use it because I bought it and I do really, really like it. But would I recommend it as being like one of the best eyeshadow brushes you're ever going to use? No. No. Okay, and then the last two products I bought are both Dior Addict Lacquer Sticks. I love this. Actually, one of them is one I already own. I have spoken about this in the past. This is the shade Rolling. I went through an entire Rolling. Isn't that crazy, guys? 
I never go through lip products and I went through an entire Dior Addict lacquer stick in this shade. This guy is always living in my purse. Whenever I don't have lipstick on, I'm most of the time I'll just throw this on because the formula of this is so good. It's like creamy and sheer and so hydrating and I love this shade rolling. It's like the most beautiful peachy nude. I cannot get enough of it and for that reason, I wanted to try out another color. This is in the shade Rising Star and I don't love this shade. I do love this formula, but I don't love this shade. It's kind of too brown for me. The reason I like this product so much is because it's kind of like my everyday lip product. I throw it in my purse and I love the formula and I love the color so much. You know, it's just, it's an everyday product for me. So I think it's worth the money because of that. This color is not a color I would wear on a daily basis. Maybe with like a really light lip liner or something because I thought this color was gonna be a little bit more pinky than brown. So I have to play around with it, test it out with different lip liners underneath to see if I really like it. But in terms of formula, if you can find a color that's perfect for you and one that you would wear like every single day, I think these are phenomenal. They last on the lips all day and yet they're sheer and creamy, I don't know. I don't typically go for really luxury lip products like YSL, Chanel, Dior. I don't really wear lip colors from those brands, but this product in specific is so good for every day. I love it. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were all the products I picked up in the Sephora appreciation sale. It's not called the VIB sale, it's the appreciation sale. Leave me a comment down below letting me know everything you got during the sale. I would love to know what you guys picked up. Do you like any of the things you picked up? What have you been using? Let me know in the comments below. But that completes this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Sorry. No noise please. I'm in the middle of something. Because I ah.